I am Hans and this is my channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, welcome. If you have been here, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at some of these mini amps that I did a review on these about a little over a year ago. Took a whole bunch of these little ones that they had and we did a review on them and they were all just like a right and left channel type of a setup. These ones actually all will drive a bass, a subwoofer. Let's go! So all the subwoofers that I have, which are equal to three right now, one of them is non-powered, two of them are powered, so they have an amp built into them. Then I have different amps that have different channels that will actually operate the subwoofer. So this one has an output, so this has got a wired output. Most of the subwoofers are gonna want an RCA going into them. These ones are, I actually am using this one right now on another speaker setup that I made where I put an Alexa hub inside the speaker housing and I was able to make it into like its own independent um, speaker. And so this is powering it. We're getting our music from the Alexa and we're running everything through here. I've got a subwoofer, so there's three sets of wires coming out of the back of the speaker and I've got the subwoofer sitting next to it, but it doesn't have any power to it. So this is actually providing the power going to the subwoofer. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out so you guys can see how I did this. I feel like I'm getting shocked. So basically, like I said, this is the same thing that we had in the other one. So we have our inputs coming for that. We've got our left and right channel and our sub channel, I think left and right sub and power right there. And then I just made a little notch for those. And then this thing slides right in there. Control the volume and all of these as far as our settings go. Let me show you what I mean about the bass here. And the thing that I'm really impressed about is that this actually pumps out a lot of bass for not having an amp on it. So it's cranked up all the way right here. You can hear how it's kind of muffly. As I turn it down, you can hear everything get sharper. You can tell this music isn't the best, but you kind of get an idea. So when you turn up the bass, for the sub and you're just using the power from that, it does muffle everything else. It takes away from the power from everything else. When you turn on the bass and you're using the bass on these speakers, it sounds way better and you can get away with a little bit more bass that way. Most subwoofers have an amplifier built into them and the amplifiers like the, the amps that you have that run your AV stuff for normal stuff, not these guys, but the bigger ones, those ones will have a non-powered subwoofer. So the thing that this one does that your amp won't do is that it will actually provide the power. And I will tell you, it's not a lot, but it does make a difference when you have everything playing and you have that little extra bit of bass, it does help, but it just helps. It's not gonna shake your windows or anything like that. Nothing like what these will do. So I went on to Facebook Marketplace. I went and I searched used speakers I found a guy who was really awesome. He sold me all this stuff. Um, it was like 250 bucks. I got these Bose speakers. I got a Kenwood and a Sony subwoofer. And this is the Sony, the Kenwood's on the floor. I'm not, I just bought them because I figure I'll have a place for them sometime, somewhere. So I got a good deal on everything. And you can go out and you can find decent speakers. If you find something that's got a really big bass driver in it. You may not even need a subwoofer. And these things are really amazing how much they'll push. So I'm gonna hook these up. I've got these JBLs as well. So I'll probably hook these up just to see how they sound, what the difference is. And uh, we're gonna go through each one of these in this video series. So I'm gonna do one at a time. This is one of, what do we got? Oh, uh, five right here. So we're gonna do five videos. Six will be what I think and what I think is the best one that you could get. So if you wanna just skip ahead to that one, go for it. But if you do wanna kind of listen to each one of these and see what hookups as well, this is kind of a big deal. 
as far as what you're gonna have plugging into your subwoofer or whatever you have. So if you're just pulling an old subwoofer out of a car that doesn't have an amp hooked to it and you wanna put that in your stereo system at home, this amp right here is gonna drive that. But if you have a subwoofer and you're gonna use this amp, for instance, this has the RCA jack that will go from here to here to deliver the signal. So you're gonna to need to have a powered subwoofer with this. You guys hear that? That's weird. Maybe this is me, I'm holding it too tight. That's what she said. Anyway, so we've got these speakers here. We've got these the three that we're gonna go through. So today we're gonna to go ahead and actually there's six of them, hold on. This was one that I was super excited about. I got this from Amazon in this plastic bag in a box with no padding. It came just like this. I, I was, this is the nicest one I got to, I think. And it's just like, I can't believe they sent it to me this way, but they did. So I'm curious, let's do this one first to see if it even works. Cause it looks like maybe somebody else returned it and they maybe just sent it back out. So let's clear all this stuff off and we'll get started with the subwoofer, these Bose speakers. Let's do that right now. On the back of these, we can daisy chain these. So we'll do positive to positive, negative to negative, and then we can come out here, positive to negative and go into the amp. So it's gonna drive this and this speaker at the same time. It's probably gonna take away from what you're gonna get out of just one of these speakers, maybe a little bit, but it's kind of fun just to push it and see how good these will sound or how bad they'll sound. And it's easy enough just to unplug the top one if you wanna just hear how this one's gonna sound. The last test I did, I was using some bigger speakers and it was just amazing how good these things sounded. And I got a lot of comments also about people saying, oh, well, just cause it's loud doesn't mean it sounds good. I know that you're not gonna be able to tell what these sounds like through my microphone. So I'm gonna just have to ask you to take my word for it. If it sounds good and it's crisp and I can hear it clean and the sub sounds good, then we'll blame it on the amp because that's what's producing the, the sound for it. So we've got our right and left channel and then we've got our sub and then there's like a control channel. We got it. Got a remote, got some batteries in it. You know, there's actually food on the top of this thing by the, the power button. So we've got power on, we've got power on, we've got these things plugged into this thing and whoa, okay. Here we go. This is the experience. This is what we're doing here. I don't know what the deal was. I had it up to like a hundred. It was like way up super high and I was trying to connect it and play, but I couldn't get it to, it actually connected, but I couldn't get it to play anything. So let's try Fosse Audio again. See if we can get it to connect. Let's try that. says it's connected. Let's go to my music. Play. Oh. I can hear it. And see, I'm just cranking this thing up. There we go. That sounds pretty good. That sounds like what we're looking for there. But again, I'm not touching this. I'm not doing anything and the volume just keeps going down. So, and then the remote actually messing with my lights. So it's like not on its own signal. And again, this is just all messed up and kind of gross. The guy didn't clean it. I'll at least put it back together, but now we're already down to 80. So I don't know why the volume is trying to knock itself down so much and it takes like a lot to get it to go down I turn it off turn it back on powered it off pulled the power plug out turn it back on it's staying at 60 and no matter what i do with the volume it seems to be staying there it seems to be connecting to the bluetooth just fine and again this thing sounds really good 
And the nice thing about this remote, even though it's all dirty, I can adjust the treble. And I can adjust the bass right from this. And you can see it's messing with my lights. So I found some 808s that I, that I liked, some 80s 808s. So I just made a quick mix of a few different songs so we could listen to it. Get a good idea what that bass is doing. Again, this microphone's not gonna pick up on that. I know this mic's not really gonna pick up on what's going on with these speakers, but that thing sounds amazing for a $50 sub that I picked up on Facebook. It sounds super good. These Bose speakers sound amazing. Um, so I have an idea what I'm gonna do with these when I'm done with this project, but I am wondering what is making, what was making this thing change. But it's still at 60, so that's good. It's where I had it. And every time you push this button and it cha cha changes the mode. So maybe that's why it was doing that. But now I'm stuck on this treble mode and I'm not really sure. There's not really like a way out of that mode from here, unless you just turn this and you're going to see the volume change. This is the Fosse DA2120A and it's got the little readout on the front, which I really like, but I don't like that it keeps changing on me as far as like how it reads out and the volume was changing. Now it's not doing that anymore. So I don't know what that was, but I'm going to still send it back because there's something definitely wrong with it. And the remote itself is actually causing my lights in my studio to flash weird and do some funny stuff. I would say <clears throat> if it worked, if you bought a brand new one of these and it was working, this would be something I would keep. I would hold on to this for sure. This is actually really well built. It's really nicely made. It's got, I like the screen on it. I think it's really cool. You can actually turn the screen off, I think, so that there's no light if you wanted to. Maybe I'll just contact them and see if they want to send me another one. And if they do, then we'll go from there and maybe do another review on this one. So we'll get into those other amps in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all you guys subscribing. I'm really sorry that I have not put out any videos lately. I've been super busy working on this project that you'll see here soon why I have not. But thank you guys for being patient with me. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for subscribing. It means a lot. It really helps me build and make more, more videos like this so you guys can see what kinds of things I buy on Amazon and what I like and that kind of stuff. I will be getting back into more motorcycle videos. It's just really cold out right now, so I'm kind of waiting for it to warm up and then I'll go ahead and get those uh, forks on the 250 and we'll go ahead and get a couple more bikes coming from Amazon. So again, thank you guys for watching and you'll see me in the next video. Let's go!